Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Bears and the Bills, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here, as it'll be the AFC champion Buffalo Bills taking on the NFC champions, the Chicago Bears. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The long fortnight of Super Bowl week is over, and away we go in Super Bowl 58. And we will not have a return, so the first drive of this Super Bowl will begin at the 25. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. And he spoke very eloquently and passionately on media day about what a victory here would mean for him. He knows this just isn't any other game. This is the kind of game that stays with you for a lifetime. Tonight, who's most ready for this moment, I think, is this man right here. Fields going to throw right away. And from the 25, they were. to see him running again here is something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? 30, and that's all. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Here's Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Fields on first down. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Kmet. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll run, hits Herbert. And he'll work this forward. For down at seven. Back to throw, Fields able to hit his target, Claypool. And the Bears are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play. You what happens. A chance for the first points of this Super Bowl. It's first and goal. Now Herbert looking for a seam, but fine. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Now Fields. Toward the pylon, caught. The opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. DJ Moore, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical, 
and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. The knockout occurs. And it becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Well, the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid, but he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played, and his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And not much to up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now Allen. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch. Pretty nice little game. From midfield, here's Allen. And that is incomplete. It's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. To the air, Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's gonna have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 31 yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Play action, now it's Allen. Running the crossing route, it's Beasley with a catch. And they'll get this one to about the 20 yard line. 11 yards for number 11. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the only trailing him the whole way. You're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Uh, give to Cook out of the gun. This will be a five yard of 15. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They run the counter with Cook. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked-off linebacker. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Allen now looks to throw. Now oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. The 40. The 20. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Well, this defense, they've been terrific all year, and they come through with a pick six here on the game's biggest stage. Perfect descriptor there because we have seen this time and time again. This defense, their ability to take the ball away from teams, they definitely have a nose for the football. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception. Navigating his way into the end zone for the touch. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10.
Now Allen to try again after the pick six. On the left side, he finds Beasley. Make a good pickup of eight. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 14-0 is our score. Continues right after this message. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Welcome back to the date on the calendar we circle every year. Super Bowl Sunday. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis here with you as we get set to begin quarter two. Three catches for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. It's a first down. When you struggle out of offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball. Press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen on the move to his left. And that's going to be in. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Halleck. And his throw is going to be. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Forced out to his left. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Gain of nine that time on the scramble. One yard shy of the marker, and it brings up fourth. He didn't like what he saw downfield. Decided his best course of action was to take off and run. And that ended up being a gamble that did not pay off for him. Now they would have to gamble again if they want to keep this series going. Now the punter, Sam Martin, called on to kick it away here. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Here comes Justin Fields and the rest of the Bears' offense. Five for five that last receivers I don't want to be cliche but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team all right there's body types of the recent fates and subtle moves some of them just use pure speed and the really good ones when they're established they know how to push off at the end of a route too. A second down pass play an incomplete pass on second down it muddles things a little bit here this is third and ten to throw his fields. He's going to look deep for more. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered, they'd had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I think they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Second and eight. And this one taken in on play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Throwing is Allen on third. And that is intercept and completion here. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll kick it away for the second time.
And this is a beauty as that ball is going to angle out at the six-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the foot. The golfer can check one up. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That pass complete to Moore. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And they'll get to him quickly, too. Another carry for Herbert on second down. Stopping behind the line. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 10. A throw there, but that's... Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Ready to take over. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Throwing it comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield. And almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Now Allen again. That's caught by Gabriel David. 45. Allen off the play fake. Rush coming, and he's taken down. That sack by Tremaine Edmonds. When you're down a couple of scores like this, CD, you can't afford too many plays that go in the wrong direction like that one. Yeah, when you take a good look at it broadly, Sacks are better than giving up an interception. But where they are on the scoreboard, they've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. half a play from our studios in Orlando. Throwing now is Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Three and out, right? Thought they were able to get off the field. Not so. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Got a man downfield. It's Beasley. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A good pick up there, a 22. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This is caught. Touchdown. Stephon Diggs. 
A 14-yard touchdown. And the Bills are on the board here in this Super Bowl. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just notice the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL. They know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to seven. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Bears now ready to take over again. And not an abundance of time remains on the clock. Charles lead before intermission. And when you're talking about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of time for that. The fallback is to get three. But in your mind, you put six on the with a dagger and great momentum to carry into the locker room. On second and 11 now, Fields. Locates Mooney on the out route. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go. In on first down, Fields. There's Mooney with another catch. And they'll get this down to a... And just a yard to go here on second down. Here's Fields. That's complete right side to commit. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds. On first down, it's Fields. That's complete to his running back, Hurt. To the air again, Fields over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So first and 10 now from the 30. Fields now to throw. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Oh, he's going to be brought down there in the field of play. And the clock will run. No timeouts. They will not have the chance to bring out the field goal unit. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys. So the halftime show makes some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Out come the Bills now in this third quarter. And they trail here in the Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't, but of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Allen. And his throw is going to be sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be... The Piers are going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 44. Back to throw. Fields. 
He's got the connection to Moore. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. Again, he finds more. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. To back good plays have them on the move on first down here's Herbert and they'll get him down right second and eight coming up to throw his fields over the middle that's caught by Claypool and that'll bring up what looks to be a third and inches can't be more than a half a foot on third down, Herbert. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Touchdown, Chicago. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. That time, a six play drive, and it ends with a three yard scoring run. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort to let ball. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Allen's throw here pulled in by Beasley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his foot 29. On first down, Allen. That pass complete to Deontay. Six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Here's Allen to throw it. He hits Beasley right side. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Allen going to throw. He'll find Gabriel Davis. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, 
big time pass. A one two combination look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch though. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Allen. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting. Well, stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Back to the ground, Cook. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Now Allen. And that will be in court down. Solid coverage by the Bears D. The kick by Bass is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still. It's enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And as the offense begins another drive here. That partner sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but... We know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime. If you're a good football team, you spend that time on the sideline, you still adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. And this will be a Bears first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. Offensive linemen are famous for doing their job no matter who's carrying the ball. But when they have the confidence that the person carrying it can break off big time runs, that makes them block just a little bit harder. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, here's Fields. Complete to Mooney on the slant. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. over there make sure that man does not get hit so if you have to hold occasionally do so because they don't catch all of them this time they did we are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super you're watching the NFL on EA Sports folks welcome back to the biggest stage in sports the Super Bowl and now we get down to the good stuff the fourth and final quarter and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down it's Cameron Dick. Throwing on second and long. Fields. That's complete to move. Third and long here. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Third and long. It's Fields. That pass complete to Moore. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. This is Herbert. And he'll take it across midfield. Leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 31-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. 
But normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against convention. You would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. Gave a glimpse of his just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On second down, a run with Herbert. And he'll take this inside. He'll cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 13-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards, and the sticks move. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. They'll run on first down. Herbert, and he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Khalil Herbert, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Bears are feeling good as they extend their lead in this Super Bowl. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Santos with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's capped off by a 13-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And the Bills getting set to go. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. Here's Allen on first and ten. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. So they'll come up first and ten now from the 33. Movement there on the offensive line, a little quick, and a five-yard penalty. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Here's Allen. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Again, it's Allen to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Just a gain of a couple there at its second down. Now Allen. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Looking for James Cook out of the backfield that time. And it's third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing is Allen on third. Flush to his right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense. 
blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Now Allen, got to have this one. Uncorks one for Davis. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. Well, they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call. But how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? All right, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. On first down, Herbert. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Another carry for Herbert on second down. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 51 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. I know at times today's NFL sure feels like everything's about the guy throwing the football. But when you've got a guy who can run it and move it and gain this type of yardage, you'll take him each and every time. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll go again with Herbert. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Second down and eight. That one looks like he'll throw here. Able to hit his target, Claypool. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Fields on third down. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. D.J. Moore, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Bears are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. This has just really been a solid second half from them, C.D., as they add another touchdown to the lead, and they start to pull away in what was once a close ball game. Yeah, they actually put the Jets on in this one, didn't they? Put a little cherry on top with that touchdown. Now he's got to play out this final minute, and they'll get a chance to celebrate a very hard-earned victory. Santos now to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Five plays there on that drive. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by D.J. Moore. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, and with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because... It's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here. Give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Second and seven. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Over the middle, it's complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Mm -hmm. 
So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Allen looks to throw on third and one. And that is incomplete. <laughs> Running for it. Here's Cook. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. And these Chicago Bears have etched their name in NFL history. They are your Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.